No, I think it's important that we recognize as ESCOM that we also need to play our part in decarbonization. And as our coal stations come to the end of their life, we will need to repurpose and repower them. And secondly, we know as ESCOM, uh, from a country perspective, there's much more megawatts of renewables that are required uh, in the region of 50 to 60 gigawatts. And our role from an ESCOM perspective is to make sure that the transmission grid is available to connect those renewables to the grid. And that's a, the part we will play in the decarbonization and the transition of the industry. So currently we've got a 10 year uh, transmission development plan, which will require in the region of just over 200 billion rand worth of investment uh, to expand the grid and grow it by about some 14,000 kilometers. Uh, that will then bring the necessary capacity from a transmission perspective. We are comfortable that with the debt relief that we've got from government, from a funding perspective, uh, a key uh, element has been now resolved of. Now it's important to just focus on the execution of the transmission development plan. I, I think uh, first and foremost is our own performance on the generation plants and in particular the non-performing plants. There are specific action plans for each unit at these various power stations. We've also through the, the new head of generation changed some leadership at the power stations and list is now meticulously focused on st power station by power station and unit by unit uh, to improve the performance uh, of our own fleet. Yeah, I think the microgrids is a tremendous illustration of uh, ESCOM's innovation. Uh, we've also uh, launched the DSM uh, launch about a few weeks ago to, to add more megawatts. Uh, and more importantly, it's just about engaging with our partners uh, and bringing the, the necessary uh, intelligence. But uh, there's a massive opportunities, we believe, for uh, digitalization of the electricity industry and artificial intelligence while we're also protecting the employment of uh, ESCOM and more importantly the, and, and addressing uh, the unemployment of the country. I would like to see uh, from Inland Africa digitalization and the ability to execute and implement as fast as possible uh, and, and not repeat the mistakes of other countries uh, in their transition uh, from fossils into renewables while ensuring the security of supply and stability. So if we as a country can learn that through Inland Africa, I think it would have been a win-win.